Hi friends, Susanna here today. And today we are making the Take Me To Tea dress. And it is so beautiful, it is super sweet. Um, there are so many options with the color blocking option of it. Um, I love that it's lined so you don't have to worry about a neckband. Um, and it is super twirl factor, um, just love it. So we're going to make it today. But before we start, let me remind you of our fun fan giveaway, a $50 Elliot Maggie certificate. And all you have to do is subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and then comment below and just talk to us. Let us know what you love about our channel. Let us know what your favorite pattern is, what your favorite fabric is, um, any of that information, and you will be entered for our giveaway. And we do that monthly. So subscribe, go ahead. All right, so we're gonna get started. I have already cut out my pattern. Again, I'm using the Ellie and Mac Take Me To Tea dress pattern. I'm already all cut out, so we're going to get started. All right, so we've got our front pieces. We're gonna start with our front. Uh, I mean, our bodice, the top bodice. Here's our front face up, and here's my back face down right on top of it. I've got Bo, my pops, right next to me. So that's why I keep looking over here because he likes to sometimes play with the threads that I throw on the ground that I'm getting better at, not throwing them right on the ground. Um, and we're gonna meet those shoulders and we're going to sew those shoulders together. So I'm going to pin this. Now, I am doing this to my outer, but I'm going to be doing that same thing to my liner. I already did it to my liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew those shoulder tops. As you can tell, I'm using a serger for this, um, for the construction of the garment. But if you don't have a serger, a sewing machine will be just fine. Um, you will just do a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. So, um, what I would do is if you're using your sewing machine and you're going to do a stretch stitch, I would grab a piece of scrap fabric um, that I'm going to be using for this project and try different um, different uh, stretch stitches on your sewing machine. Zigzag stitch, lightning bolt stitch, maybe a wider zigzag stitch for some people and then um, see which one works best with the fabric that you're using. So we're going to go ahead and open it. Your bodice. Okay. And I'm going to grab my liner, what is already put together, and my uh, outer, and I'm gonna put them right sides together on top of each other, matching the front and the back, and then uh, making sure that they're even. So look, if I go to match them, and look, I have a piece fit hanging over, I know that that was the front, so I'm gonna turn it so that they match, they have to match. Front with the front, back with the back much better so you want them to match and they you cut them with the same pattern piece so they should match unless you like me sometimes and even if you use the same pattern piece pattern piece they don't really even match up all that well sometimes i go crazy with the roller bars. like <laughs> you know before you know it i've cut my finger it's already healing i do that all the time do you do that do you cut yourself when you're cutting uh, actually, this one I cut myself with what with scissors cutting like I was cutting fabric. I'm like <laughs> I'm like Really scissors like I can see the rotary cutter. I do that sometimes. I've done it many times um, but Scissors like how fast was I trying to cut with the scissors that I ended up chopping my finger? Thankfully, it was just um, like it just bit me <clears throat> and not like cut my finger Ooh. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sew around that whole neck hole okay so a lot of people like to go ahead and use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine because you'll give it a flatter look i always use a serger to go around the circle i i did it with this one this is a 90 stress and it's also lined um i do it with all of mine with a serger and it's still to me it still turns out great um so that's what i do i find that that's easy like i like to do that better um but you can do a stretch stitch on your sewing machine if you would rather do that because the neck does stretch though, you need to make sure that you are using a stretch stitch. You cannot do a straight stitch. So we're gonna go around. 
you probably should put your foot down before you start sewing. All right, so if you did it with a sewing machine, you can go back with um, your, uh, uh, the little scissors with the squiggly triangle teeth on them. Pinning scissors? Pinning scissors? I can't remember the name of them. I never use them, so I don't even know what they're called. But, or you can use your regular scissors or some small scissors and snip little snippets of uh, the rounded, mostly at the rounded edges where the where the seam is gonna take a turn. Don't cut your, your thread, just a little bit of the fabric so there's less bulk. Now, I'm not gonna do that with my serged edge because obviously if I do that, I'm gonna snip at the serging. Um, and I don't wanna do that because I don't wanna cause it to make a hole. So now we're gonna tuck in our liner into our bodice like so and we're going to open it up and steam it's really important that you steam as you go um i uh, can get lazy sometimes and not want to steam but honestly whenever it, i steam it gives it such a nice uh look nicer look than when i don't steam, obviously I'm just so funny today. Not me even making sense. Yesterday, I was in class and I was teaching and I said, come on, y'all, let's finish. Uh, if we finish this section, we'll be, uh, it will be almost done for today. I, I don't remember. No, that's not what I said. What did I say? Whatever I said, but it was so funny because they're like, I said, let's, I, I, like, I encourage them. I'm like, let's finish this section and we'll be done, almost done. And then we'll just have, a couple other sections to finish i don't know i can't remember what it was but it was so funny because they're like like really we're gonna finish this section and you're acting like we're done but we're not really done we still have like 10 more sections um so it was funny they were laughing uh, we got back to work and we actually finished up to where i wanted to finish you know it's always like you i can't i can't we can't finish everything it's too much there's so much to learn there's always new things to learn. And even when you have graduated and you don't go to school anymore, you start sewing or getting some kind of awesome hobby. And then um, you have plenty more things to learn, just like we do. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and attach our bottom bodice, okay? So we did our, here's our top of our bodice. Now we're gonna attach our bottom. So we've got two bottoms. And if you want to, um, they're already folded. How I do is I mark I by like, doing a little notch um you won't even able be able to tell that it's there once you sew it on that's what i like to do and i'm going to do the same for my bodice mark a little notch now i'm going to show you on my front bodice but then you're going to do it the same on the front they're going to do the same thing on the back bodice as well but for time's sakes i'll just show you for time's sakes i'll just show you the the front in case you're wondering i teach spanish espanol is what i teach um uh at, at at a high school so um it's very hard sometimes because they don't speak it all the time so they're like i don't understand but they are good kids i love it okay so we're gonna put right sides together so the right sides of the bottom bodice to the right side of the um top bodice now you gotta match the liner and the outer together okay so when you're pinning this to the bodice, make sure you're pinning it to both, okay? And you're aligning that raw edge right there at the edge, and you're going all the way down. As you can see at the end of the top, there's a side that goes straight up, and then there's the side that comes around. So there's kind of like a corner right there. Now it's not super, super defined, but you can tell which one it is, and that's what's gonna go at the edge. So you're going all the way around, kind of manipulating that fabric to go around the edge. Um, and like the top is gonna be wrinkled here now, but then when you put it on, it has more of the shape, okay? Because you don't, obviously your body's not flat. I mean, some are flatter than others, but um, I mean, like you still have a shape. So you are three-dimensional. Is it three-dimensional? I teach Spanish, I don't teach math. <laughs> Okay, so now that I pinned that all around the edge right there, um, we're gonna go ahead and sew those two together and I'm gonna do the same for the back bodice. So let's do it. All right, 
So once the bodice is on, we're going to steam. I'm gonna steam that seam up towards the bodice, the top bodice, they're both bodice. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and top stitch that. I'm gonna top stitch it on my cover stitch. Woo! Running over my ironing board leg. Don't mind my stain on my iron. So I'm just going to give it a good, uh, a quick little top stitch on my, on my uh, cover stitch. All right here. Cover stitch, top stitch. If you don't have a cover stitch, you can do a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine and that will work just fine. And now I'm gonna go ahead and press it and pressing it helps with any waviness or anything like that that you may have encountered. There it is. So now we're gonna move on to doing our sleeves. So I'm gonna open up my arm side, arm area. And we're gonna grab our sleeve and I'm gonna mark the top of my sleeve, that top corner of my sleeve. And that top corner, right there, it's what I'm going to attach to my shoulder seam. And remember, you're attaching the outer and liner of the bodice. Bo just knocked you a little bit. Woo. Okay, and we're gonna go right sides together, raw edge all the way down. Come back to that spot. He loves to sit like right here next to me. And when I went to um, when I went to uh, use the cover stitch, I had he had to move, and so he like moved over there and then came right back over. He is so sweet. Okay, so we're going all the way down the side. Now, as you can tell, I don't know if you can see a little bit with mine. I am making the um, the puffy sleeve. So if you have one that the sleeve might be a little bit longer than your cap, just make sure that you even it out a little bit. Um, and what I, if you want to, you can go ahead and gather a tiny bit right here at the top to give it more of the puff look. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to even it out a little bit. So it has a little bit more of the wrinkled up top, but not a lot. There's not a whole lot. But I wanted to do the puffier sleeve and I'm going to do the armband so you can see how you do that. I'm going all the way down the side. I always like to pin the end first and then I come back. And so like, I want it to be tight right here. Not tight, but like, you know. Um, and honestly, I know like some people worry about the fabric being perfectly placed. Again, if you want to gather a little bit at the top of that cap with the, um, when you're making the puffy sleeve, cause it'll be a little bit, might be a little bit bigger than your arm side. You can do that, but I just kind of tap it. Listen, I know I was saying some, some people worry about the fabric being perfectly placed or whatever. And that's good. You probably should be concerned, a little bit concerned with that. But I, um, I don't know. I'm more like, let's do it. Let's go. Um, it's knit. Knit is very forgiving on how it shapes and like stretches and everything. Um, now I'm very, I'm more particular with when I have a woven non-stretch. Um, so let's go ahead and sew that together. I'm going to do the same for my other sleeve and we'll keep going. All right, those sleeves are on. Okay, so now that my sleeves are on, I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna meet right sides together at those side seams. So I'm gonna meet all those seams together right here, right here. And match up those raw edges if you want to match up seams um all the seams first and then go next all the other things okay so we're gonna sew that side together and the other side together you're gonna sew both sides together 
So the sides. I haven't even had coffee today and I'm already like hyper. Yesterday when I was teaching another thing, they're like, I was like really like, okay, we're gonna do this. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and they're like, what did you have this morning? And literally I was sipping on a huge thing of coffee. I'm like holding it. I'm like, uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm okay. I'm the same. I'm just normal. What are you talking about? You know, as I'm like, Phew. I'm normal. I'm fine. You know? And one of the girls was like, um, I thought you didn't really drink much coffee. I'm like, no, I, I don't usually drink much coffee. I can't. If, whenever I drink, I don't know if this happens to everyone, but whenever I drink a lot of coffee, I get like, and I start like, I almost sweat. Is that weird to say? Like sweating? Is that yucky? Anyway, but yeah, I do. Like, it's like, I'm almost like sweaty, like sticky. And I'm like, this is weird. I, I don't know why I'm doing this. Do you do that? Like, does that happen to you? Anyway, it happens to me. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and sew those sides. Was that TMI? TMI? Sorry. All right. T-O. See, my ironing board keeps moving around. It's that guy's fault right there. Okay, so I am going to turn my sleeve and it's been sewn on, as you can see. Okay, <clears throat> if you're not doing bands, you're just going to go ahead and hem. But I'm going the extra mile and I'm making bands. I already put it on one of my arms. I'm going to show you how to do it on the other one. Okay, I'm opening that band, folding it wrong sides together. Steam. To give it a memory crease i'm gonna open it fold that right sides together and i'm going to sew that raw edge right there the short raw edge y'all i feel like a new person i went and got my nails painted again it's been a little while since i did and my nails got my nails done and they look so good I cannot do a good a job as good of a job as they do um, the professionals. I'm just not a professional when it comes to nails. I love it, but I can't afford to get them done all the time. So it's so sad. Okay, side seam, and we'll go to the front. I'm gonna mark it now. If you want to mark it more than uh, half, you can. You can mark it now. <clears throat> if you're doing the puff sleeve this sleeve area it's kind of big and it is way bigger than your armband okay so you have two options you can either go ahead and when you're sewing just stretch the heck out of the band which is what i do because you know i don't like to go the extra mile or you can go ahead and put a gathering stitch on this sleeve um you can put a straight stitch and gather it the width of the band um and that will make it go uh, you don't have to pull as much. So I'm going to mark the other, the half of my sleeve because I'm just going for the pull method. And um, I'm going to pin right here at the seam. That will be my one mark. And then I'm going to pin over here at the other edge. And you can already tell that it's going to be tight. Do you want me to bring you closer? Okay, um, I'm going to bring you closer. I'm going to show you how I do this. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my presser foot up, put my band in, make sure my raw edges are touching, and I'm gonna put it right there at that back seam. You're like, what about the pin? I'm removing the pin, yes. Now what I'm gonna do is I did a little tiny stitch to make sure that my fabric is caught under that presser foot so it's not gonna come flying out as I'm trying to stretch the everything out of it. Okay, so now I'm stretching, but I'm lining up the, the band and the uh, sleeve together. I'm not stretching the sleeve at all. I'm just stretching the band pretty much as much as I can. And then I'm catching right here where the half point is, making sure it's all good. It's matching up evenly, moving everything else out of the way, pulling, grabbing that, trying to make it on roll because sometimes it tries to roll so just kind of push it out and go. not too hard is it then the next section again i'm turning making sure everything else is out of the way 
grabbing the sleeve and pulling tight onto the band. Do do do. Sleeve is done. Yep. Now I'm going to steam, steam, steam. That was not the one. Yeah, that was the one. Steam, steam, steam. And then if you want to top stitch, you can go ahead and top stitch. Sleeves are done. We move on to our skirt. Our skirt. And we're almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my two panels. I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna put them right sides together, right on top of each other. So right sides together, like so. Blah, 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 blah. At both raw edges. So here's the one raw edge. It's a raw edge. And here's my other raw edge. Row edge number two. And then I am going to sew those raw edges together so that it can be one continuous circle. All right. So now my skirt is put together. Ooh, how cool is that? Pretty, huh? Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and grab our bodice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face my two side seams together. And I'm gonna go out to the back and to the front and mark the quarters. Quarter. Quarter on each side. Clipping those trimmings off. That footer wasn't marked very well. And I'm going to do the same for my skirt. I'm going to match up the two seams. And I'm going to go to the one side. And then I'm going to go to the other side. Now, because of the way that this is color blocked, you want the seams to be in the front because you want it to split on each side of the skirt. Now, if you were making a skirt of all one same color and you said, I want the seams to be on the sides, then you would attach it to the sides of the seams. It would go to the seams, okay? But because we're doing the skirt split down the middle in the front, then you want to attach that seam to the front. So where, that, where I marked that front notch, that's where you want to attach it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn my skirt inside out. Inside out. And I'm going to fit my bodice right into it. So the right side of my bodice is touching the right side of my skirt. And I'm going to line up where I marked that front notch with my one of my side seams of my skirt. I'm going to match my side seam of my bodice with the front of my skirt where I marked the front. I'm gonna mark the side seam on my body, the back seam, of, back notch on my bodice with the another side seam of my skirt, which now I should stop calling side seam because it's not a side seam anymore. It's now a front seam, right? So I matched, matched all my seams together. You see? So now I'm gonna go ahead and sew all the way around those raw edges, making sure those two. The bodice and the skirt are together at the raw edge, right sides together, and making sure everything else is out of the way as you're sewing. I like to start with the back, so let me make sure and see which one's the back and which one's the front. That's the back. So I want to start at the back. And we're going to sew all the way around, and we are pretty much done. Okay. Okie dokie. My dress is done. Now all I need to do, how cute is this? So cute. Now all I need to do is hem my skirt and I am done, okay? I'm gonna hem my skirt at a half an inch seam allowance all the way around. 
scared Bo, woke him up of his sound sleep. And I'm going all the way around. I don't even measure my hem anymore. Probably not good. When I'm doing a rounded hem like this, I just make sure I pull the fabric a little bit as I'm going and make it taut so it'll just go around the circle like I'm wanting it to. So I'm just gonna go around the whole thing and I am going to go ahead and hem. I'm going to use my cover stitch, but if you don't have a cover stitch, you can use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine or honestly, because this is a wide circle skirt and it's not tied around the leg, um, I could just, I would do a, um, a straight stitch. I don't think I would really, you know, if I, if I wanted the look of, uh, more of a, a straight stitch look, I wouldn't worry about, uh, worrying that it's gonna really be that, um, snap or anything like that. Cause they're not going to be stretching on it. Um, but I wouldn't recommend that on every single skirt or top because that, you need that stretch when it's something that's tied to you. So, but you know, on a circle skirt that's wide like this, I would go ahead and do it. Anyway, that is all I have to for you today. I'm gonna continue to seam this hem um, and hem it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did today. Um, I, I know that sometimes I get this question. I am wearing the 90s dress. It is beautiful, it is lovely, I love it. Um, so, and, um, uh, please let me know if you have any questions, please come join our Facebook or Instagram page so you can see what everybody's making. So you can be inspired to make something beautiful for yourself. Um, and also we want to see what you're making so you can inspire us to make something beautiful. So come over, um, links are below, um, and comment, like, share. I hope you all have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all next time.